Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth Ron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So, as you probably know by now, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday here in Instant Deck Tech Land, and today we are looking at a very aggressive, kind of tribally based list, built around a new mythic. From Amonkhet. This is Samet Humans, kind of a Naya human beatdown tribal deck, and it looks really sweet. It recently took James Ebro to a top four finish in a GP trial, so congrats to James on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break down Samet Humans if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck. Because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Samet Humans is kind of a curve-based tribal deck, so kind of the easiest way to make sense of this deck is to go up the curve. So, we start off at 2 mana with a plethora of humans. We have Channel Initiate, which starts off pretty small as a 0-1, but it grows as it makes mana, so it helps us ram from 2 to 4 to start casting some more powerful stuff really quickly. And and it ends up a 3-4 after a few turns of making mana. Duskwatch gives us a source of carded, and then Glorybound Initiate is super aggressive. It's only a 3-1, but if you exert it when it attacks, it becomes a 4-4 with lifelink, which is just massive for a 2-drop. Works really well with some of our support cards that we'll talk about later. As far as our 3-drops, we get a couple of Hanweir Garrisons, a human that makes even more humans. As a 2-3 for 3, it's not super powerful, but when you consider that it attacks for a total of 4 damage for 3 mana, and it splits it up across different bodies, and those bodies stay, so the next turn it's attacking for 6, if the tokens live, it gets really out of control really quickly, kind of like a Hero of Blade Hold almost, which was a classic from a few years ago. Thalia Heretic Cathar slows down our opponent a little bit, Combat Celebrant gives us extra combat steps, Devoted Crop Mate, another weird card advantage type card, when we exert it, we can get back one of our 2 drops from the Great Graveyard to the battlefield, which is pretty reasonable. Channeler Initiate, Duskwatch Recruiter, Glory Bound Initiate. So if one of those dies in combat or gets hit by a removal spell, this gives us a way to get it back. The only thing I will say that's a little weird about this deck is the breakdown. It's very odd to play two of four different three drops, and that just means you're not going to draw the one you want when you want it that often. So to me, this feels kind of like a, I'm testing out these cards type of list, and when this list is done, you'll probably have maybe four of one, four of another, and then we have the namesake card, Samet Voice of Descent, which is really expensive, but really powerful. It has a ton of keywords, gives all of our creatures haste, which is really exciting, because it means we can just kind of ball lightning our creatures in off the top of our deck, but it has double strike, so it attacks for six, it has vigilance, so it's back on defense, also has haste, dodges some removal, being five mana, it can't be fatal push, and then, as far as payoffs, always watching is super awesome. Awesome. It works really well with our exert creatures, especially glory bound initiate. You see this from the more common white red humans list, where on turn two you play glory bound, on turn three you always watching, you immediately get to attack with a 5 5 vigilance lifelink, and that closes out the game really fast. You're attacking through essentially anything in the format that your opponent could play, and you get to do that every turn because of the interaction between Vigilance and Exert. You just get to Exert every time you attack, so this also works well with some of our other random cards that have Exert. And then we have some human payoffs that are also humans. So Thalia's Lieutenant puts a counter on all of our humans, which happens to be all of our creatures, including any tokens we generate, and then it grows whenever we cast a human. Heron's Grace Champion is kind of a one-shot pump effect for all of our humans. We can cast it with Flash, pumps our team, also ends up being a 3-3 with lifelink, which, eh, you know, not super huge, but it's, it's reasonable and kind of a combat-tricked anthem all-in-one. 
And then we have a couple of interactive spells. Cast out, gets rid of anything, can cycle it away when it's not good. And Blessed Alliance, kind of a Swiss Army knife, gains a spit of life, can get rid of an attacker. As far as the mana base, we have a smattering of different dual lands, Handweir Battlements for the meld combo with Handweir Garrison, flipping around to the huge Eldrazi, also just hasting our creatures. Some forests and some plains. In the sideboard, we get some more interaction. Declaration Stone can get rid of a board full of zombie tokens, get rid of an Ulamog, very good against specific cards, Manglehorn to deal with Mardu vehicles, keep your Heart of Kirins off the battlefield, uh, tap some random artifacts down, Natural Obsolescence, another artifact removal spell, Heroic Intervention and Lifecrafter's Bestiary are great in removal heavy slower matchups, Heroic Intervention can fizzle Wrath, fizzle Targeted Removal, while Lifecrafter's Bestiary just grinds out so much value. You we have some more creatures too, more Athalias, uh, if we want to make sure our opponent's stuff is tapped down, another Heron's Grace Champion for more pumping, some Glory Bringers, only non-human creature in the deck, but uh, very good at taking down Gideon in specific as a flying haste creature that can also shoot down an opponent's creature, and that is Samet Humans for Amonkhet Standard. And that's our instant deck tech for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.